Hi there everyone, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and welcome to another tutorial today. Well we're going to do a night scene um, with a lovely skyline and we're going to do some silhouette trees um, with a little fairy in the distance. So I've got my multifarious card here, I've got my stencil brushes and I'm going to just build up some colour with our lovely elements that we've got here in front of me. So I am going to start with the graphite. So I'm going to come in at the edges and just build that depth of colour all the way around. Now it's going to take a little bit of time to build this colour up. Um, I've used this ink pad so many times so it's not quite as juicy as when I first got it. So, which has its benefits but on this occasion it's just going to take me a little bit more time to build up that dark background. nearly there. We can always bring that graphite back in at the end if we want it to go a little bit darker again. Well, let's just pop that to the side and go with some of our brighter colours. So I'm going to start with the confetti and this is super super bright. So I'm going to take plenty off and just start gradually bringing that colour in very gently. And then putting a little bit more pressure on just to even that colour out. And then we're going to move on to the line punch. Lastly, I'm going to use this lovely Sundance, which is our yellow. Let's put those lids back on. some lovely trees here that I'm going to ink up in the Nocturne. good press and again I'm going to do that at a slightly different height so it doesn't look too repetitive and then I'm going to bring in a different tree again ink up And this time I'm going to take that first impression off and then stamp. And I'm going to do the same again in cup. Stamp off and just bring that up the edge there. 
and maybe a little bit over that side as well. And we've got one more tree here. Now if you haven't got these trees, don't worry, you can use whatever trees you have handy. They just need to be big enough um, to fill the card at the bottom. So I'm going to take this off again. In fact, I take a little bit more because I want this really to be quite in the distance. Like so. And then lastly, we're going to pop our lovely fairy flying just above. So we're going to ink up in the nocturne, remembering it's a very small stamp. So we need to just make sure that we've got no ink on the edges. And then I'm going to pop her up there. flying over the top. So now I'm going to use the VersaFine Claire Nocturne with my stencil brush just to give a little bit more depth. Remembering that this is an oil based ink so it's going to be darker than the elements. The elements are quite a chalky ink so you can see straight away how that pulls your eye now into the centre by just bringing in that depth of colour around the edge. So just work your way around and there it is. Okay, so it's amazing really how simple that is. And just by using those few colours and those trees, you just get that atmosphere. So now we're going to use some Posca pens just to dot around. how these Posca pens they stand out so well against the, that dark background and lastly we've got our glue pen here and I'm just going to dot a few dots over in a sort of diagonal effect And then sprinkling a tiny, let's go for the holographic. This will really make it jump out. And there it is. Such a quick, easy card to achieve. Just using those few colours and a few stamps. Um, well, I hope it's inspired you to have a go yourselves. And um, until the next time we meet, you take care and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.